hello hello again my friends today i will tell you how you are going to manage your risk specifically for the trades that i give you in the server so first of all oops let's go here and uh, what was the chart who okay who was the trade which i just gave who limit 0.182 tca to 0.174 that's just the range starts at 0.182 it ends at 0.174 ish and that's the stop loss which i will announce because it is a manual closure this trade is no longer valid i cancelled it but just for reference i'm going to use it for this video stop loss 0.166 which is over here that is about 6.6 percent after a mean dca by mean dca you mean that if you put half of your position size over here and half of your position size over here your average entry comes around about over here but if you go like uh, uh, low bids here and heavier bids here you slightly reduce your position size to around these levels and your stop loss gets reduced by like one person so here you have a six hour trade with this kind of dca and here you have a five hour trade with my kind of dca i personally use this uh, two-way dca one at the first bit second at the last bit just because if i use the smaller size increasing size ratio dca the problem is that not all orders will get filled towards the end which would leave all my heavier bids down there and just have pennies riding the trade so i like to put half on top and half at bottom so even if the bottom half doesn't fill the prior half fails and it's a good thing to ride half of the position at least towards the take profits now comes the risk management and i have stated that there is going to be one percent risk for all trades which are given in this trade section this doesn't go for the spot 1 to 10k the spot is just like you have uh, currently the balance is 30 percent up at 1.3k you just put the full balance in and then it's either the stop loss or the take profit or an uh, announce you can scroll up and see how it's done over here all the chat history is available but we're gonna stick to risk management for the calls given in trades that goes for both spot and futures so with one person risk first of all you have to check what is the size of your portfolio let's say personally what i'll be trading with you beginning next month especially because we are currently at the end of the month i think there's like nine more days so the people who joined late will not be able to cover all the trades that i previously gave and that has a positive effect on the pnl already so with the 10k accounts for both futures and spot which i'm going to lead myself will be started from next month uh, most probably and i have 10k on each uh you can say the spot wallet and the futures wallet so assuming my spot wallet is ten thousand dollars i say my risk is one person which is equivalent to one hundred dollars now i've got my risk what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the stop loss percentage which i will always mention you around these level i think i did not mention on this one yeah i did not i forgot sorry but i'll always uh, mention the stop loss percentage which is in this 6.6 percent so you're gonna take a hundred you are gonna divide it by 6.6 percent which is equivalent to 0 0.066 and that would give you a value of let's check $1515 so that $1515 is your position size now you're gonna take this position size this is the maximum amount of money you can use in this trade this means that if you put $1500 on this woo trade if the stop loss hits you're gonna lose a uh, hundred dollars since this is a five hour trade for the full take profit over here you ultimately conclude that if you are risking one percent which is represented as one hour one but i'll write it here one percent is uh one hour risk so automatically on the other side you have five hours which is currently equivalent to 
5R equal to $500. Now, one important thing. I do mention percentages of take profit, but I do not trade take a trade based on the percentage value. This is because I simply trade based on RRR, which is called a risk to reward uh, ration value. I think it's called ration, but let's just stick to RR, risk to reward. Here you have a 34% take profit. And if you take this $1,515 and you multiply it by 34 and divide it by 100, you have the same $515 profit on the same position size. So this concludes that this risk management tool which we call the RRR is valid. You're risking 1% which is 1 hour, 1 hour which is equivalent to $100 on a $10,000 portfolio. Divide that by the stop loss percentage you have a position size and if the take profit hits you have it is represented over here risk to reward ratio 5.16 you make $500 from this trade and another important thing is that this is your total position size and you're not allowed to risk more than this so you can either go half here half here yes that is what i recommend half here and half here the problem is that some people like to place all of that here some people like to place all of that here now if it move it in front of you if i place all of it here my risk to reward is broken down to 3.5 now since instead of making a profit of three five hundred dollars i'm gonna profit 350 dollars only you see how much of a difference a dollar cost averaging uh, makes and on the other hand those people who are looking for the best entry below if they get it then they are lucky because they are going to make $860 instead of $500 since the risk to reward ratio has risen to risen to 8.6 but there is no guarantee that the last bit hits therefore we always prefer to take the middle way which is dollar cost averaging so personally I like to put half here half here and then on the way up this is just the final take profit for this trade specifically but on the way up there are uh, more key levels and then we have to check with BTC and Ethereum as well so if there are any such updates this will be the channel used for spot and this will be the channel used for futures for future positions I will put updates over here that now you have to do this now you have to take profits put stop loss at break even for future positions and for spot positions I will be giving all the updates over here and that's it that's simply risk management for you make sure you follow this risk management for all trades because i have uh, told you before that even if someone takes one r 5x losses in a row he basically loses 5r but if he bound uh, that 5r on a f uh, five ten thousand portfolio is equivalent to 500 dollars in this case okay but if he bounces back with a 10r trade in one trade he makes 10 R he will come back with a $1,000 profit overall he will still profit $500 and now we if we compare this to the people who YOLO and do not have a set uh, risk management system they would take a first 10 hour trade and make like a thousand dollars and on the other hand they are like okay I have made a thousand dollars I'm gonna exceed my risk to reward uh, risk from 1% to 5% so instead of losing 5R on the, uh, on the updated uh, you can say balance they would risk a heavier balance and then they would lose more money so their balance overall at the end of the week or the uh, at the end of the month or even at the end of a trade a specific trade is either gonna be in loss or it's gonna be in break even so to stay profitable in the long term especially with me who trades higher time frame you have to specifically ma uh, follow this risk management you are not allowed to exceed one more than one percent risk i have i do have my preferred risk management which i have given somewhere over here this is my personal one but I do not recommend following this either if you are a beginner uh, I ask you to stick towards 1% only the another important reason is that with 1% uh, 
say your wallet is ten thousand dollars and you're only risking one hundred dollars you do not you will not have any emotional attachment to to this a hundred dollars you won't need to check your uh, pnl your charts every minute every hour to see how it's going you're just going to let it sit it's either gonna hit the stop for a hundred dollars or it's gonna either gonna make you five hundred dollars so risk management helps you uh, control your emotional attachments to a trade make sure you follow these for each trade and I'm sure we'll be profitable at the end of the month I have maintained 80% uh, win rate over the last six months so it's just about time I get some kind of a good trade and we are ready to roll the balance and I'll see you on the next one bye bye